First and foremost, absolutely over the moon to get off with a winning start um, and, and with a clean sheet. And to be fair, I thought Potton came out very, very strong first sort of 10, 15 minutes, um, put us under pressure. And they're a good side, Potton. I must give their manager credit uh, and the management team for, for firstly the way they conducted themselves and, and secondly for the team they've assembled there. And I fully expect them to be up there, thereabouts later on in the season. Um, they, they provide a lot of threats going forward and I felt we, we nullified them, especially in the second half really to, to one shot from sort of distance, which was kind of made a very good save. You know, from my perspective, I was absolutely over the moon with the level of performance. I was over the moon with the way that we went about our business um, from start to finish. I thought we, we grinded it out, we, we hung in there. And in the big moments of the game, uh, I thought Kelvin took his goal exceptionally well, showed really good composure. And then obviously Tolu runs the length of the pitch and, uh, and, and puts one in the far corner to, to seal the game. So I felt once the second goal went in, I thought we, we looked comfortable. I thought our shape was very good. I thought we looked very well organised. And I was really, really impressed because a lot of things went wrong in the build-up going up to it. We obviously lost Jammers 10 minutes before kickoff. Um, which was a blow for us, unfortunately. But from our perspective, what was really pleasing was, was how we were able to, to galvanise as a group, to set ourselves up right. And, and I, you know, I felt in the end that we, we deserved the three points. And like I've said to people time and time again this year, I don't get caught up with all the possession, all that nonsense. For me, uh, all I care about is the three points. And uh, you know, full credit to our boys, as I said, I keep going on about that. But they were real men. Um, unfortunately, during the course of the game, a, a few of their supporters I thought crossed the line on several occasions during the course of the game. Um, a fair play to our players for showing composure, um, staying calm under that. As I said, you know, I'm very thick-skinned myself. Um, I'm not somebody who gets overawed, intimidated by any man in the world. And uh, their their abuse towards some of our players, I thought, was, was borderline at best. Um, and I certainly thought they were they were well out of line throwing a beer. Um, over Kelvin and Isaac, and uh, I thought that was, was really, really poor from them. So whoever the hero was that did that, luckily for us, missed his intended targets. Um, didn't catch them clean with it, but enough to, to shower them. Um, luckily for us, Kelvin didn't miss his chance and put it in the bottom corner. So I was very, very pleased with the way our staff, players, and everyone handled themselves. And I, and I must make that very clear, that Potton overall on a whole were actually excellent hosts. Uh, and I wish them well for the rest of the season. I wish their manager well. Um, just very disappointing that that sort of stuff goes on in the course of the game. Um, unfortunately, nowadays it seems to be the accepted norm in football that supporters can behave the way that they want to behave. Um, I always go back to the question, if one of my players are throwing a drink over a supporter, you can imagine the backlash. So full credit to my players, as I said, they, they held themselves really, really well during the course of the game. Stuck in, were resolute and um, yeah, really good start from us. So very, very proud of each and every one of them. Yeah, so we're hopeful. We've got a couple back training tonight, so we're hopeful we'll have them back in contention for Saturday, which will give us a lift. Um, the lads who, who played on Tuesday, I thought, were, were excellent. Um, we haven't got many knocks from, from that group, so uh, I don't know, as I said, I don't know if the opposition have, have been, to, been to watch us, um, been to see us on Tuesday. Quite frankly, I don't care. I care about what we do now moving forwards, and, and the key for us is getting the best players on the pitch, the players that are available, getting them right tonight, making sure that we, we get the balance right between working in training um, and making sure that we recover well, ready for Saturday, so we're nice and fresh in, in what's going to be a very, very tough game at home to Great Wakering. Very excited, I'm sure all supporters are, mostly because we get our first sort of competitive game here at Creasy Park, which will be good. Um, very tough test, any time you play a team from a level up is always a challenge for you. Uh, but you know, we have to go into the game in, in good spirits, confident. Um, as I said, we, we, we played well Tuesday for large parts of the game and we've got a group of players here that we really believe in that have bought into what we're trying to do. Um, but again, every, every game you play, you have to do the basics well. You know, you've got to win your first contacts, you've got to pick up second balls, you've got to make the right decisions in possession, things that we keep drumming down on players here. And we, if we can show the same energy levels, the same intensity and the same organisation and structure that we did on Tuesday, on Saturday, then we give ourselves a good chance. But you know, we're, we're not expecting Great Wakery to turn up. You know, they're, they're travelling a long way. We don't expect them to turn up here and just think it's going to be a, um, a stroll in the park for us. It certainly won't be. We're expecting a really, really tough test and one that we're very much looking forward to. It's a home draw, which is always a, a good place to start. Um, and for, from our perspective, the most important thing is, is irrespective of what goes on on Saturday, is to win. That's, that's really key for us. And uh, hopefully we'll be back by our, our wonderful supporters on the weekend, get a really good crowd going, uh, get a good atmosphere here. And uh, hopefully it'll be a really good spectacle for everybody involved. And um, 
So we're, we're looking forward to it and hopefully see you all there on Saturday.